Lockdown has caused massive changes in our life, but remarkably, it's only led to a reduction of about 20% in global emissions. Why is that? The way that we're eating hasn't really changed. We're still eating the same meals with roughly the same content. We are using less energy to heat our buildings and run the appliances within them at work, but in homes we're doing more of it, so that's even out. The big factories that make our big materials, steel and cement, are still running because it's so difficult to shut them down. And what's really changed is our travel, so when you add that up, it gets to about a 20% reduction. Let's turn that on its head and ask, what would it be like if we actually lived with zero emissions? Well, we would have less beef, we would stop eating beef, lamb and dairy. Uh, we'd change our heaters from gas boilers to electric heat pumps and insulate the buildings better. We'd make materials in a different way and use them much more carefully. We'd conserve their value for longer. And we'd travel differently. We wouldn't fly, um, but we would be able to use electric cars, so we'd be able to move around much more freely. It turns out that in the lockdown we've had to give up the activities that we most enjoy but we don't use so much energy. Spending time with our friends, our family and our communities and our leisure activities, these are all low energy using activities. When we reach zero emissions, which we have to, we're going to make changes in our life without any question. But unlike lockdown, we're not going to have to give up the things that we most value.